Hello, after the success of the CDDA, which is the audio disc, the question focused more and more on whether a disc could be used to store data as well. So the format was reworked and the new product to store digital data was called CD-ROM Compact Disc Read-Only Memory from Philips, Sony and Danon, described in 1983 as an extension of CDDA and this was able to store 553 megabytes of data. So now we need to take a break, well, not a commercial one, but rather a clarification digression. So you must have experienced that if your hard drive is 1 terabyte, but it will be about 930 gigabyte after formatting. Well, the main reason for this is that the hard drive manufacturers using different units and specifying the size as you would expect in computing in general. Ok, this is more understandable. Two methods are used. One is based on the two number system. In multiples of two. This is kibibyte, mebibyte, gibibyte, tabibyte, pebibyte. The other is based on multiples of 10, which is the commonly known kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, petabyte. The principle is the same as in the case of the kilogram, a thousand of grams. And this version is also the SE unit. So based on these megabytes, MB, 10 will be a byte on the 6th, so 1 million bytes. 1000 kilobytes, but only 976.5 kibibytes, which will be on the multiples of 2. 1 MIB, on the other hand, will be 1024 kibibytes. 1 million 48,576 bytes, 1048.5 kilobytes. There is a handy exchange rate calculator on the internet if needed for some reason. So the storage is based on 10, while the operating system Linux, Windows and even the Mac until the Snow Leopard used the multiples of 2. Apple switched to 10 base since the Snow Leopard. In the description, MB, GB, TB are multiples of 10, while MIB, GIB, TIB indicates multiples of 2, as long as they are used accurately. However, it is mixed almost everywhere. Well, like on the CD, 700 MB, which is correctly 703 MIB, because the error correction bytes doesn't count in the data volume. Of course, no one usually does distinguish them. We call them simple kilo, mega, giga, tera, etc. Well, this 553 MB data disk format was finalized in 1983, and announced in 1984, and in 1985 it was presented at the first Japanese Comdex computing exhibition. Anyway, this exhibition was originally held in Las Vegas, then in more and more countries until it was finally discontinued in 2005. Several companies after the exhibition were also interested in the CD-ROM, and in 1985 the biggest manufacturers agreed to standardize it to work across all platforms. A unified file system was needed, which all machines could handle in the same way. Microsoft, Sony, Philips, Danone, DAC, Hitachi, 3M, AT&T, by some miracle, Apple and others. The High Sierra Hotel and Casino was the scene, well, after all, they customers had to pay all of their bills. Hence the name of the format became High Sierra Format, later ISO 9660. It was introduced in 1986, but it underwent some more changes before it came to the market in 1988. Nevertheless, the first CD-ROM was the Glorial Encyclopedia, which was published by Microsoft, mainly for promotion, in 1986. At the beginning it was well over $500 per drive and these were only readers. The first CD-ROM devices were this big heavy thing with a serial port to be connected to the computer. From 1986 various TV shows presented how it works, how easy it was to manage and how it would be good for everything. Philips first device, the CM100, had the same design 
of the Philips CDDA player. The internal CD drives came to the market sometime in the early 90s. From 1990 it was also used in gaming machines, arcade games and its popularity continued to grow. Do you still remember how the audio CD works, right? Basically the CD-ROM follows the same logic. So the data is stored in the same way on the disk as the audio samples, but now it can be any data. The CD-ROM sector is 2352 bytes of data, 98 frames, 33 bytes in each frame, of which 24 are useful data, and 8 error correction bytes, and 1 byte for subcode. Error correction is the same CERC cross interleaved reads ROM encoding, and also the 8 bit words are converted to 14 bits, with the 8 to 14 modulations. However, this can fix the errors only up to 3500 bits. The audio CD interpolation procedure cannot be used for data, so another solution was needed. Therefore, mode 1 uses an additional 32-bit cyclic redundancy check code and another third layer reads Solomon bug fix, the RSPC. To mode 1 from this 2352 bytes takes 288 bytes for these bug fixes and 2048 bytes remain for data. This was necessary for software or other data where the errors are not allowed, where it will be most likely to be eliminated. However, this is unnecessary for some other data such as video or pictures. This is where mode 2 came up, where there is no error correction, so it does not check whether the data is correct or not. So it leaves the sector size to be able to contain 2336 bytes of data. So how much data does it hold actually on a disk? It depends. In mode 1, it is roughly 14% less than in mode 2, 703 megabytes in terms of average disk in mode 1, which is in mode 2 is about 846 megabytes. There will be three sections on the disk, introduction, data line and end signal. The data line always starts with the volume descriptor set, 0 for example, boot record, bootable disk, 1 primary, 2 extended, 255 and signal. At the beginning of an ISO 9660 data disk, there is an empty area, 16 sectors of 2048 bytes, which has been reserved for later use. In mode 1, the sectors contains 12 byte synchronization, 4 byte header, 2048 bytes of data, 288 byte bug fixes. In mode 2, there is only the 12 byte synchronization, 4 byte headers, followed by the 2336 bytes of data. The CD-ROM has plenty of extensions which have been added over the years. Rock Ridge, for example, which is named after an imaginary city of a Mel Brooks movie. This allows 255 byte file names, more than 8 subdirectories, time samples, etc. The 1994 El Torito, which was named after a restaurant, and it was a bootable CD-ROM, which can act like an installed system. The Joylet, introduced by Microsoft for Windows 95 and Windows NT, allows file names of maximum 110 characters, written to a separate area, so compatible with ISO 9660. It also allows Unicode characters. Apple extensions, etc. The commonly used .iso disk image file is actually an ISO 9660 disk image. CD-ROM is also used as CLV, constant linear velocity, from the center to the edges, keeps slowing down. Over the 12 times read speed changes to CAV, means it doesn't slow down the disk further but its speed remains and the laser reader for the disk moves faster in comparison. The next step is the home recordable CD disk, the CDR. Thank you for watching, subscribe, press like, see you next time, bye!